How many of you would like to be the reason someone succeeds in their life? Today, I want to share a few stories with you that reveal an important truth about success and the key to how you can be the reason for the success of others. My first story is about my friend Jake. It's graduation day at UC Berkeley, and Jake is practically dancing his way up the stage to get his bachelor's degree in international studies with honors. His parents are overjoyed. They dreamed of this day when they immigrated from Poland all those years ago. But the days that followed were not as cheerful. Jake had been accepted to a top master's program, but in order to go, he had to secure funding. So he spent his summer applying to fellowships and trying to come up with the money for school. But by August, he was still short. So he decided to postpone grad school and look for a good job. But good jobs were scarce for college grads in 2010. So after a few months of disappointment, with expenses piling up and loans coming due, he packed up his bags, moved back in with his parents, and took on a job selling movie tickets for eight bucks an hour. Jake's story is not unique. It's not even rare. Half of American college graduates are underemployed. These are bright, young, educated people whose potential is being wasted because they believed in this model of success. They are taking on jobs that do not require a college degree, mainly to pay for that degree. Because they grew up in a society that told them, follow your passion. And as long as you work hard and you persevere, you will succeed. But that is not true. And now they feel betrayed and lied to by a society that told them they could make it because they didn't. But how can I say this here? This is the Sanford GSB. This is a room full of people who worked hard and made it. Yes, we are the other half. And what separates us from them? Is it just hard work and perseverance? No. I don't think so. There's something more to success than hard work and perseverance. Which brings me to my second story. My story. I started at UC Berkeley around the same time as Jake. And at this point, I had lived in the US for about three years. My parents wanted me to stay in New York, where I had family, or move back to Iran to live with them. But I had been accepted to Berkeley. And I know it's blasphemy to say this here, but I thought it was a great school, and I really wanted to go there. <laughs> Young foolishness. But I had to figure it out on my own. I had to become financially independent and put myself through school if I were to do this. So I decided to go, and I had financial aid, and I thought I'd take a job, and it would be easy. But a few months in, I got a letter from the billing office. You owe the school $20,000 in out-of-state fee, and your financial aid does not cover it. So pay us out of pocket, basically. I felt confused at first, and then angry, and then helpless. How could this be happening? I 
had taken a big step towards independence. I was going to put myself through school, but $20,000, how was I going to come up with that on my own? I'm 19. But I wanted to. I was determined to. And the longer I stayed in school, the bigger my bill. So I decided to drop out. Seemed like the smartest thing to do at the time. I did. I dropped out. I took on two jobs and started putting away a little bit of money each month to pay the school back. But soon I realized this was going to take forever. And I was getting collection calls at odd hours reminding me that I'm running out of time to pay the school back. I didn't know what to do. There was a fight in me that I had to admit to myself first that I couldn't do this on my own. Then I realized I had to admit it to other people because I had to ask them for money. And neither of those things were things I wanted to do. But I had to if I wanted to be back in school. And soon, I started having those conversations that I dreaded, and something amazing happened. Friends and family came out of nowhere to just offer their help and say, how can we help you do what you want to do? And it, it didn't take very long for them to connect me to an incredible organization, Iranian Scholarship Foundation. They gave me a scholarship, they put me right back in school, and I finished in three and a half years with my class on time. It felt incredible. And then once again, when I wanted to come to the GSB, they were there with the right advice, mentorship. And it was with their relentless support and my families that I could be standing here talking to you today. The difference between my story and Jake's story is that at a critical moment in our lives, we both needed help, and one of us got it, and the other didn't. That's it. And in that lies an important truth about success, that it is about more than hard work and perseverance, that there is something missing here. And the missing thing is support. Now, support can come in many shapes and forms. It doesn't have to be just financial support. It could be mentorship, guidance. Just one critical conversation can change the course of someone's life. Now, many of us feel that we did it on our own. But I'm willing to bet if you look back, and if you look hard enough, you'll find those moments when you needed something. When you're looking for advice, or an answer to a question, or just somebody tell you everything is going to be okay, and someone stepped up to help you. And that made a huge difference. What if, for millions of youth like Jake, no one ever steps up? What if someone does? Someone like you, or you, or you. Imagine all that potential realized because each one of us decided here today to be the reason for someone's success. And here are three ways in which you can do that. One, we talk about support. So when you tell the stories of your successes, talk about the people who helped you get there. Talk about the times you asked for help and you got it, so others have the courage to do the same. Two, we drop the judgment. As hiring managers, entrepreneurs, and investors, when you come across someone like Jake and you see an ambitious young person hungry for more, Smart, went to a good school, but maybe stumbled along the way a little bit. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you can change their life with just one interview. Maybe you can give them the break they needed all along. 
And three, become a support asset. This could be serving as a mentor, or creating a scholarship fund, or inventing a new technology for discovering and developing talent. Whatever it is, get out there today and find ways to support others in their pursuit of success. So we can all live in a society where you have hard work and perseverance. You will get the support you need to succeed. Thank you.